Hi everyone and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create uh, an encrypted connection to a VNC server using PuTTY. So the setup, uh, I'm running a Linux server um, that has VNC uh, server running and also an SSA server. Uh, so if I go to my firewall, notice that I'm only allowed uh, SSH connection on port 22 nothing else is allowed to connect to this server. So the only way we can connect to the uh, VNC server is by using a uh, port forward uh, type of uh, VNC connection. So uh, that's for the SSH server. The, uh, the VNC server that I'm using is X11 VNC. Uh, and so it is listed on port 5900. So I'm going to press enter. It is listening on that port now. So I'm going to my Windows machine now and uh, I'm going to fire party. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention, I need the IP address of my Linux server. I can obtain that by doing ifconfig. And as you can see, it is 10.10.5.6. So we have everything that we need. I'm going to enter here in party 10.10.5.6. The port is 22. And uh, I'm not done yet. I'm going to name the session uh, main server. And I'm going to save that section so I can save all the configurations on party. The next time it's easier to open that session. And then under connection, I'm looking for SSH, and then I'm looking for tunnel. And here uh, is what I'm going to set my port forwarding connection. So what it says, source port, I'm going to type 5900. And destination, I'm going to type the IP address of my remote Linux server. Column 5900. Uh, for the type of connection, I'm going to leave it as local and auto. So I'm going to click Add. It's being added here. Now I'm going to go back into Sessions, and I need to save in that configuration because that last part, I didn't save it before. So I'm going to click Save, and now I'm ready to open VNC. Uh, I'm, op I'm ready to open Party. So I'm going to enter my credentials. And as you can see now, I have successfully established connection. I can do ifconfig. This is the IP address of my server. So now I'm going to go into VNC. And uh, usually what you do is you type the address of your Linux server, followed by the port that VNC is listening on it. But if I do that, it's not going to connect going to press enter, connecting to, connecting to, but it's not going to connect. So I'm going to stop that. And I'm going to say localhost column zero, because it's the first uh, display that I'm trying to connect. So I'm going to press enter. Uh, don't pay attention to this because the connection is encrypted, believe me. And as you can see, I have successfully established a connection using uh, a tunnel to a PNC server. And uh, that's it for this video. Um, I think this is a great way to uh, secure your connection to a VNC server. Um, many VNC servers now support encryption, as well as many VNC clients also support encryption. Um, but if you're not sure, this is a good way to establish an encrypted uh, connection to a VNC server. Uh, so see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.